Here we go. Ready? Oh, he's better than me. Yeah. What's up, guys? Well, I made my little scratch stock gizmo. This thing works pretty cool. Um, check it out. I got the case on its back, right? And I did the whole thing with the drawers, and I got this thing in a nice, even, even plane. Now, the next thing I need to do. Oh, hang on. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, guys. The next thing I need to do, okay? So I need to put this uh, bead detail on the whole front of the case. See? Now what this wants to do... Oh, there's a gnarly in grain right here, boy. So I need to scratch it. matter me going along little by little not to force it that's the important thing about this thing you can't force it and you want to keep pressure this way because if this thing bobbles forget about it you know it's going to affect the, the face so this is what I need to do for like a long time it sucks all right can you see that pretty good yeah that was kind of cool huh now, after I do that, look, I'm just going to go back to the bottom one because it's kind of already done. Right there. <sighs> I need to remove this material inside here, okay? So I just have my, my chisel and I'm just going to gingerly take this material out, okay? I mean, the championship rounds now, guys. You know, this is where, like, you really gotta concentrate. So, I really haven't been filming much of this because I've been trying to concentrate. Sorry. You know, we'll go over this whole thing when I'm done, done. But this stuff is nerve wracking right here. And the way I'm going right now is I'm going with nice, easy grain. But there's gonna be all sorts of bad grain issues this way. Like, now I gotta start coming in this way and the other way and blah, 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 blah. And then after I get it to, a, to this depth right here, I'm going to come along with another scratch stock and just kind of flatten the whole thing out. So, you guys can see, whoa, <laughs> it's kind of close, huh? You guys can see that I have my work cut off for me. And this really needs to be done, you know, nice and easy, nice and quiet. Just kind of chip away at it. So I'm going to be doing this probably for the next two days, to be honest with you. The dividers are kind of easy, but then doing the whole Bombay shape is, is, is tough. And then trying to get all the miters cut where, um, if you remember, the drawer dividers have that miter on it. You know, and those miters are going to be inside the cock bleeding, but not on the flat side. So uh, after I get some of it done, I'll turn the camera back on and we'll see where I'm at. Okay? But it's a pretty neat detail, and it's really gonna um, tip off the drawers, you know what I mean? It's really gonna box everything in nicely, so. All right, guys, now you can see that I have the field already uh, scratched out, and you see the bead that's starting to uh, form? Looks cool, huh? The next thing I needed to do is take a, a scratch stock and remove the material that's inside the, the two beads, you know what I mean? Sorry. So you can see that there's ridges, and it's all marred up in here, and it, and it kinda looks like crap, right? And ultimately, we want it to look like this one. I had the lights kind of gnarly, huh? But you can see that... Well, you can't see anything. <laughs> All right, whatever. Sorry. Well, it doesn't want to look like that right there, okay? Basically. You see all that garbage right there? Let me try to get it up there. All right. What I need to do is make another scratch stock, okay? And all it is, is a flat. You see it? And it fits in between those two beads nicely. And you just gotta take your time, everybody. And this is, this is what you gotta do. Just scratch it by hand, okay? Until 
the two points on the on the beads at the bottom of the bead from the scratch stock there's kind of like a depth gauge on the bottom of these things like so all I need to do is just this and it gets boring and it gets tedious and it gets tough on your fingers so here's what I'm doing so it's going to take probably an hour or so well maybe not that long probably yeah maybe an hour to clean up this one rail let me get the camera, I'll show you what it's going to look like. Look at that. Let me get out of zoom for you. Alright, i got to walk around the case. So this is what it wants to look like, everybody. Okay. You can still see that there's a couple little flat spots. You see them? And they're tiny. And hopefully, you know, when I, when I do a final sand, the rest of that stuff will come out. But it's a far cry from what it is after you scratch it, you know what I mean? So that's what the uh, dividers want to look like. And see the nice transition pieces on the, on the miters going up and around. I still need to do that divider. And then this one here. And this is the one that needs to be done still. So, you can see how this thing really uh, squares off each one of the drawers, you know? It was a pain in the neck down there. That's all short grain. Look at all that little short grain right there. That was tough to do. I had to do that with a carving chisel. Pretty good on the da on the uh, dovetail, huh, everybody? Pretty good. There's one that came out crappy. Look at that. That was from the writing service way back on like podcast 8 or 9 or something. So we'll have to do a little uh, demo on how the finisher can hide that for me. So that's it. Pretty smooth, huh? I know you really can't see what it's gonna look like, but it's gonna be pretty awesome. Check out the drawers. I cleaned them up the other day. You know? Funky. Whew. All right, guys, well, I'm gonna be scratching. My thumbs are killing me. Look at that. The scar tissue from when I cut myself doesn't really get the weird color on it, huh? Man, guys, be careful on the saw. This, that, that, me cutting myself still affects me three years later. All right, man, well, I'm going to get to scratching, all right, and I'm going to finish this off and then put it up on his feet, and we'll be able to see it, what it's going to look like pretty much for the first time. I'm really excited about it. And then it's some draw bottles and some locks, buddy, and it's out of here.